Right, well, this morning, PennDOT, Pima, and state police and Governor Wolf reported on the state's reaction to the snowstorm. All said they were pleased with how it was handled. The governor says it's not over yet, though. And many areas are still not clear or completely safe for normal levels of traffic. There's still snow in the roads. So I encourage Pennsylvanians, please avoid driving when you can. Uh, let these road crews and others who have to be out on the roads, let them do their jobs. All right, let's take you around the Susquehanna Valley now and show you how communities are digging out from the snow. We begin with WGAL News 8's Ed Weinstock. He is live for us in York. Ed. Yeah, we're in the Avenues neighborhood of York, and I'm standing on Linden Avenue. It's right near the York Fairgrounds, and as you can see, uh, the plows have been through here. The uh, road looks pretty good shape, pretty good, but you don't have to go far to find people digging out. Lynn Becker has lived in the York neighborhood for nearly 20 years, and she tells me there's a lot of goodwill on her street. Neighbors help other neighbors in clearing away the snow. We love our neighborhood. This is the avenues. We love our, our homes and we love our neighborhood. The citywide cleanup is going smoothly, according to the public works director. All the main routes have been clean. The city is now focused on the secondary roads. The sun is uh, clearly helping uh, speed things up, uh, melting the snow. In York, Ed Weinstock, WGAL News 8. Certainly nice to have that sun out, Ed. Thank you. Well, our team coverage continues now with Susan Shapiro. She's live in Lancaster County. Susan. Well, what a difference a day makes. The sun is shining here in Lancaster County, and most roads are in decent shape. You will find some slush and a little bit of snow on roads like Fruitville Pike. PennDOT says it is now in the cleanup phase of this storm. That means it's pushing back snow on the shoulders and hitting those secondary roads once again. So the plows are still out. PennDOT is still running on those 12 hour shifts and you will see, see plows and parking lots on driveways also trying to clear away the snow in Lancaster County. PennDOT says the timing of the storm was really good. There were fewer cars on the road because it started to come down heavy later in the day. And they said the rain that we had and the sleet helped keep down any drifting and blowing. So there weren't a whole lot of problems in Lancaster County. And they say the sun is helping things because that heats up the macadam and that helps melt the snow. So you may encounter some slush on some secondary roads, but for the most part, the main roads like 283, 222 and 30 are in pretty good shape today. In Lancaster County, Susan Spiro, WGAL News 8. Good to hear. Thank you, Susan. Let's head into Lancaster City. That's where we'll find WGAO News. It's Barbara Barr. She continues our team coverage. And we know, Barbara, that Lancaster has lifted its snow emergency. Yeah, Caitlin, at 10 o'clock in the morning, that emergency was lifted. And several garages where you can park for free are actually extending their hours for folks. So if your cars are still there at Red Rose Transit, Lancaster Parking Authority and Colonial Parking, you can keep your car there for free until seven tonight. That's a difference compared to two o'clock this afternoon. So they're giving folks a few extra hours to get their car out of those garages. Now behind me, we're right across from Robert Fulton Elementary School and that's Lawrence Street and it looks good. It's uh, just wet at this point. So uh, travel, not a problem here. Now some roads, Columbia Avenue, for instance, up near Centerville, uh, they were still snow covered, some slush on them, but certainly passable. And side streets, we have video from different side streets in Lancaster and a lot of people digging out. Uh, the shovels are out, the snow blowers are out, trying to remove that snow and uh, get their cars back in these spaces. And uh, people were finding some creative ways to get around, including one woman we found using ski poles who was going to retrieve her car from one of the garages. So far, so good. Looking for the easiest way to get back with the car too so I don't get stuck in the snow. Nope. And I like that the ski poles work. In fact, uh, skis, snowshoes, anything like that will help. But again, uh, taking a look at Orange, they've done a good job here getting the uh, snow off. And you can see that's what a lot of folks are spending the day doing. But it is a beautiful day. So uh, but that snow is heavy, so it takes a little while to get it off the cars and the streets and sidewalks. Live in Lancaster, Barbara Barr, WGAL News 8. 
All right, Barbara, thank you. Well, the snow emergency in Lebanon has also been lifted as you look live from our Lebanon sky cam. There's that sun we've been talking about. Street sweeping, though, in the city is temporarily suspended through December 27th. It will resume on Monday, December 28th. County and city offices are also closed today. They will reopen tomorrow morning at 830 and heading over to Cumberland County. Let's check out the view in Carlisle. Beautiful there. Trash and recycling is canceled for today in Carlisle. Parking enforcement is also suspended to allow for that snow cleanup. Those restrictions will then go back into effect tomorrow. And the storm had a major impact in Dolphin County as well. WGAL News H Jerry Gish was there this morning as the cleanup got underway. It's the day after and the digging out has begun. In Harrisburg, workers using snow blowers and shovels to get things cleared off and opened up. Traffic started to move again on major arteries like Interstate 81 as snowpack roads turned more to slush. And in neighborhoods outside the city. It's a lot of digging. Uh, it's like a foot of snow. Residents woke up to plenty of snow and work to be done. It's the first of the season and uh, this was a whopper to start off. <laughs> if the snowfall was a bit of a distraction from the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, there were still reminders of its impact. So it's going to be backbreaking, and uh, I just recovered from COVID, so it's going to be difficult for me physically. But perhaps, if you look on the bright side, this big December snowstorm could be a holiday treat. For everybody that's looking for a, uh, a white Christmas, um, it won't be fresh, but I think it'll still be white. <laughs> In Dolphin County, Jerry Gish, WGAL News 8. Yep, I think that snow is going to be sticking around. All right, conditions on the roads have greatly improved since early this morning, as we've seen in our live looks around the Susquehanna Valley already. This is what it looked like, though, along Route 30 in East Hempfield Township, Lancaster County, earlier today. It was tough to make out the road in some spots, never mind those lanes. PennDOT had lowered speeds to 45 miles an hour on highways across the state. That restriction, though, as well as limitations on the types of commercial vehicles that could be used on the roads were also lifted about an hour and a half ago for the Susquehanna Valley. The only travel limitations, in fact, in the state that are still in effect are along the I-80 corridor and farther north.